Hey, this is YBR back with Teardown, and today we did not start in my bed. Instead, we started on ground level, so let's go ahead and get to my computer and see what we need to do next. So we have a new email from the police chief, and it says, Thanks to my help, they now know that Lee was mostly working with one single client. However, that is all they know about that client, so they need my help to figure out more about them. So they want me to go break into Lee Chemical one more time and steal the employee login devices so they can learn more about the client. And thankfully, this is official police work, so I am allowed to do this I really can't believe it somebody again messed up my beautiful paint job I had on the windshield and I'm tired of painting the same thing over and over again so we're gonna paint something new on the side we're gonna write F B and then what's the last letter in FBI um I so that way everybody knows that this is official police work and I am not just some random criminal breaking into the chemical factory so anyways let's break into the chemical factory oh it's locked. Let me in. Let me in. All right, obviously, this is not going to work. We need a better solution. What does this say? Anti-theft protection systems. Oh, yeah? <laughs> not for long. Quilts security. Not for long. All right, how are we going to get in here? Oh, here we go. We're going to get the aerial view of things. And once we get the aerial view, it should be really easy to figure out what the best way in is. Oh, goodness. Okay. This is either a really brilliant idea or a completely idiotic one. We're going to jump across the trees like Tarzan to get into the facility. So here we go. On to tree number one. That worked. All right. We're kind of falling through it, but that's okay. These are leaves. Leaves are a little bit messy. So then on to tree number two. Oh, this is a big jump. Here we go. Yes. Tree number three. This is a little easier jump. Perfect. And then to the ground. And that's a big fall. <laughs> but that's nothing. I have explosions point blank and I barely care. So where are the things we need to get? So you got one thing there, one thing there, and one thing there. And you also notice it says security arrives 60 seconds after alarm is triggered. And the alarm is triggered once we pick up the first objective. So what we need to do is we need to pick up everything as fast as possible. So we need to plan the route out very precisely and then execute it. So the first thing we need is somewhere in this building. So let's just go ahead and open up a door into the side of the building. Excellent. And we are actually completely inside of the building. That's fine. So then where is the thing we need to pick up? It's right in front of me. I think it's upstairs. Let's try to go upstairs. I made a little bit of a mess of this walkway, but we can hop across. We were hopping across trees after all. And this is key card reader. So that's the first one we need to pick up. And then we need to get the next one, which is across the way over there. So that is a solid wall. We cannot break through that with my hammer. We can break through that with this guy though. And we're just gonna drive straight through. Don't stop for anything. Just drive perfectly straight. Excellent. Oh, goodness, there's water. That's fine. In fact, that might be a good thing because you know what? It makes a bridge that I can walk across because I don't think normally you can jump out of the water, can you? No, see, that would be we are stuck. But now we're no longer stuck. Although, what if we need to get back across? That's not really enough, is it? Like, we might be able to, like, try to jump from here, but that seems difficult. Ah, hello, solution. I see you over there. There is my solution. So we're just going to dump him into the water too. And then we have a perfect bridge that we can use to cross with, right? Let's check this out. Oh, this is perfect. Look how easy I can cross here. I didn't put it in the exact right spot, but it'll be good enough. So where was the next thing? Right in the corner of this building. So I guess we'll have to go in here. Are there stairs? Yes, there are. Go up the stairs and keep an eye out for the thing. Whoops, I missed the steps. Why are there no guardrails here? This should be illegal. You need guardrails. That's not what we're looking for. And where is it? It's over here somewhere in the building next to us. Thankfully, there's a window here, so we can just bash through the window. And then, is it in here? Let's see. There it is. All right, so there's the next target. That is good. And I saw something glowing. Yeah, look at this. Bottle of Gufmira. Yeah, that's my Gufmira. I don't know what Gufmira is, but that one's mine. And then we need to get out of here somehow and go towards there. All right, how are we going to get to there? Let's go ahead and hop out of here and figure things out. Hey, you! I'm gonna drive you. It's less suspicious if you're driving construction vehicles because it's normal for construction vehicles to be driving around here. Although, there's a lot of vehicles all over the place, so this is not exactly the best plan. Okay. Instead, we need to move this guy out of the way. Actually, he could be another bridge. How many bridges does YBR need? I don't know, all of them. Perfect! I made another bridge. So, what we need to do is we need to get over to there. And we could break through the building, or you see this pipe how it's kind of falling already? I wonder if we can make it fall all the way 
and then use it as like a bridge to get up to the second story so you don't have to completely break the building again. Because that's what I did last time. I want to do something different this time. Oh, I think that worked. Yeah, look at this. We use the pipe, then we can get up onto the building, and then somewhere in here is a login thing. We just gotta find it. And we're taking the direct path of, ooh, what is this? Hidden cash, yeah, I'll take that. We are doing some investigating after all, so we gotta figure out where he's hiding all that money that he's not paying taxes on, and there it is. Okay, where is it? Oh, it's not in this building. I just broke it for no reason, really. Whoops, nobody saw that. It was like that when I got here. I also broke the tubes for no good reason. That's fine. So we need to go into here, and then where is it? Should be in this corner, and it's either above me or below me. Let's check above, and there it is. All right, we now have the whole route planned out. So let's go ahead and execute. We just got to find where the first thing was. If I find the first thing, I'll find everything else. All right, here it is. And actually, getting through this is not super easy. We can go the other direction really easy, but not that direction. Thankfully, I made three bridges, and one of them has to work. So here we go, ready to, whoa, I really messed up these stairs. I gotta be like tiptoeing on them, make sure I don't fall off. And here we go, three, two, one, grab, oh. Use quick save before triggering the alarm to avoid starting over from scratch in case you fail. Okay, quick save. All right, three, two, one, go, 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 go. The, oh, we even got like dramatic music playing. It's serious snatch and grab time. Well, I guess since I'm the police, it's not snatch and grab time. It's civil forfeiture time because that's what the police do. Oh, I did it again where I overshot the right spot. No, I'm on the roof. Well, faster path through the roof, grab the next thing and keep on going. We got 39 seconds left, so I think we're doing okay. And I guess now that I think about it, breaking these tubes was perfectly fine because it gets us up to the second story for the other building as well. I just wasn't quite sure earlier when I said that. So here we go. And we got the final thing with like 20 seconds left. Oh no, I didn't plan an exit route. Okay, well, um, let's just Tarzan it. Where is my car? Where is my car? So we're in this direction. Oh, this was a big mistake. I can't even go through the main door because it's blocked. Here we go. Just jump, jump. Eight seconds. Oh, this is going to be close. Look at the helicopter there. They got a light on my van. How am I going to escape? I don't know, but I'm escaping. <laughs> they totally see me. I'm not very good at a criminal escape. Thankfully, that looked like a police van, and I'm the police, so that's okay. And I like it that. There's a little path that I took. It shows me exactly how I did things. And you can see the mistakes I made, which means, yeah, look, I went too high and I was like, whoops, go back down. I overshot the roof, so I bashed my way through. <laughs> this is almost real time, so you could actually just have a full recap of exactly what we did, which I don't think we actually need to see, but it is kind of amusing. Mostly what I want to see is what it looks like when I'm bouncing across the buildings at the very end, because I bet that looks like complete chaos as I'm just going all over the place trying to find my way out of here. Here we are, and then, yeah, I'm like, oh no, which way do I go? <laughs> so you just hop out onto a building, and then flying across to another building over there. It took me a second to figure out where to go, and then over to the rocks. Yeah, just absurdity. Anyways, continuing along, and we are now in front of my amazing car. And I have a new tool. What is my new tool? A blowtorch? Well, that sounds nifty. Is it... A limited ammunition thing though because it says 20 on it and I don't want to waste it needlessly but I guess we gotta try it right it didn't do anything on my brick we need something easier to break if they put me in front of the car that means a blowtorch is probably good for blowing up a car right yes I'm gonna cut straight through you car literally I'm gonna cut straight through it from right here in the middle check this out oh this is the power of a blowtorch I'm gonna run out of blowtorch soon but we're gonna make a clean cut we are almost to a clean cut. Come on, this one piece will not break. Okay, maybe that piece is just unbreakable by the blowtorch. Either way, we almost have a clean cut. This piece is just too strong. Now, let's go ahead and check out the next thing I need to do. Also, I should be on the news, right? Yeah, well, nothing here. I might have missed it because I was messing around with the car. So what do we have next? We have a new message from Tracy who needs coffee. So apparently, even after all this work and the fact that I have $1,420, we still didn't pay the gas bill, and now my mom can't make coffee. We need to make my mom coffee ASAP. Thankfully, we have a new job from Gordon Wu. Now, I did work for him earlier, but I don't remember what it was. It might have been when I broke the cultural heritage site, or it might have been when I was doing honest police work. Either way, he got a new yacht, but it's too big, so I need to go to the marina and destroy one of the cabins so there's enough room for his yacht. And then I also need to destroy the documentation for that cabin ever existing. 
Seems simple enough, so let's go ahead and go to West Point Marina and do it. Okay, first things first. Where is my van? Really, where is my van? Hold on a second. Okay, so instead of having a van, our escape vehicle is a boat. That's different. Well, the good news is, is the boat has a windshield, so yes, we can spray paint the boat just like a van. That's what's important here is can we spray paint it? And the answer is yes. Perfect. Now when we try to drive, that is what we'll see. Now what do we need to do exactly? So first, we should destroy the documents. And then second, we will destroy the building. Because we can't destroy the building while they still have the documentation, right? So zooming out here, we have one document there, one document there, and that is the building that we need to destroy. All right, so we'll do the document way over there first, then we'll come back for the closer one so we kind of do everything all in one path. And can we drive this car? Oh, heck yes, we can. And thank goodness for that because it would have been a long walk to get to where that first document is. And I believe it was somewhere in the back left corner of this. And can we smash through this fence? Yes, we can. And that actually did a surprising amount of damage to my vehicle. That's like a quarter of its health. Here's another one going fast. It actually might have done less damage when we were going fast than when we were going slower. Don't ask me why, but that's what it does. So the documents we want are in the corner of this building. So let's go ahead and get into here and find those documents. Documents, where are you at? All right, they are in here. So they're in a safe. And what do we need to do with the safe? We need to destroy the proof of ownership by dumping the safes into the ocean. I guess that means the safes are too strong to break open. We do have a blowtorch. But it's even too strong for a blowtorch. Wow. The safes are very strong. So I guess we'll have to actually pull it into the ocean. We'll make a little hole that we can pull it out of here because that seems like it'd be way too hard to actually maneuver it out of this building. And pull. Wow, this thing does not move very much at all and I can't even pull it anymore. Hello, new solution. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this directly under the safe and drop the safe into the dump truck. Can I actually reach into here? That's kind of tall, isn't it? Oh, I can't get into there, all right. You are gonna be my step stool. So we'll just put this right there and then we could hop onto that, hop up, and then we can clear out all the junk in this dump truck. Like, why would you put this in the dump truck when you could put a safe into the dump truck? Oh, why is it, it's stuck. Get out of there, come on. Okay, you know what we need to do? We need to destroy the ceiling that it's hitting and then we can pull it out. There we are. Now, actually, that's a good strategy. We'll destroy the ceiling under the safe to get the safe to easily fall into the dump truck. All right, that is perfect and we are ready to go. So let's drive this thing out of here. Trying to be real careful, don't you fall out. Oh no! Okay, well, we didn't get very far, but we can still yank it back in to the dump truck. We just gotta get back into the bed and then pull it in. It's so heavy, it's doing damage to the dump truck just by existing, it looks like. All right, that's like as far as I'm gonna pull it, which isn't that far. It's still kind of sticking out, but I don't know what else I could do. Well, actually, I know what I could do. Here's the idea. We're gonna back it up slowly, don't you fall out. And then we're gonna back it into something and it'll push it in, right? Here we go, just gonna back it up, back it up. There we go, I destroyed a lot of the dump truck's rear end, but it is fully in. And then to get it into the ocean, we could try to dump it, but that sounds hard. We know it sounds easy, driving the dumper straight into the ocean. Yep, that was easy, and we have cleared the target objective. They'll never find it. I don't even see the dump truck, although if they would actually look for it, yeah, it'd be pretty easy to find it. Hey, can we drive this little boat? Oh, yeah, little boat time. Oh, it's kind of weird. When you drive, there's no actual person. I never noticed that until just now. Wait a minute. Can we drive that big boat? Okay, forget little boat, it's big boat time. How in the world do we even get into big boat? He's so tall. I guess it's time to do some more Tarzaning, although there's no trees here, and we're jumping to buildings. So that means we're Spider-Manning. That's the difference. If you're jumping from trees, Tarzan. If you're jumping from buildings, Spider-Manning. Makes sense to me. All right, we gotta get to a real high point. So go up the stairs, and then we can kind of get to that corner piece that's really tall. You see that? We just got to be very careful on the jump. Perfect. And then we jump from this corner into the boat. Yes, we made the jump. All right, where do you drive a big boat like this from? The wheelhouse, right? Oh, this is great. My boat is huge. Now, what are we going to do with my big old boat? 
we're going to cause some havoc. But first, we need to grab that other safe over here. I believe it was in that building right ahead of us, right? Yep, it's right there. So this boat is working great. Although I do have one minor concern, and that is how do I get back into the boat after I exit it? There is definitely a good chance that I might struggle to get back into the boat. So I want to put it as close as I possibly can to the land so it's as easy as possible to try to hop back into the boat. So that looks good. And it stopped. So now we need to see, can we jump back into the boat from here? And it looks like we can. It's going to be close. Like from here, no good. But if we get up onto here, then we could probably hop across. So let's hope that works. And now let's go find the safe and get rid of it. So it's somewhere in this building. So let's go find it and get rid of it. And what is that? Is that just like a shelf? I guess so. Ooh, what is that? Valuable? Swordfish for 30 bucks? Heck yes, I want that. All right, where is it? Straight ahead and a little to the left. Up, oh, it's upstairs again. Upstairs we go. You know, I'm not really thinking about the morals or the things I'm doing. I'm supposed to be doing honest work and here I am stealing boats and stuff. All right, turns out, Maybe I'm not actually an honest businessman and I'm a criminal who is stealing and destroying Turns out I was wrong about being an honest businessman. Whoops. Oh, that didn't even have a paper jam I'm just breaking it for no reason now, huh? Terrible, but I am just looting the place now. I'm gonna admit that now I'm just looking for anything and everything that is valuable Nothing here is valuable unfortunately except for the swordfish which I already took All right, well for the safe that one's a little bit smaller. So maybe we can actually yank this one easier. Let's see Come on, safe. Let's get out of here. Come on. This one we can yank a bit. All right. Makes things a little easier instead of having to use a car. We can just push and pull and get it to the water. Well, actually, what the heck? We got cars. Let's make use of them. This guy, if we can put him into the van, we can drive it away with it in the van. That seems much more fun than just pulling it along, doesn't it? Well, actually, here's another solution. We just push it. Push it. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. I'm stuck on it. Can I pull it? Get out from under the van. Get out from under the van. Oh, this is not good. It's completely stuck. Come on. Okay. We have another vehicle we can use. This looks like my van, doesn't it? It's the exact same thing, just a different paint job. So here we go. We're going to push both of them with this guy. Push. We need more speed. More speed. Push. This is working very, very slowly. Actually, we might be able to get traction and drive him off. Let's see. Can we get traction? All right. Now, back to the original plan. We're going to put the safe into here and then drive him into the water. So come on. Oh, we can't pull it up. It's too hard. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right. Well, we tried that. It didn't work. But we can still at least push it into the water with a vehicle, right? So we put it right there. And then we push with this guy again. I know last time we got stuck on top of it. But I don't think that's going to happen this time because we don't need to push it that far. Uh-oh. Come on. Get traction and push. Yeah. No. It's going to block my boat. I need to get out of the water. Well, thankfully, with me crashing my van here, I should be able to get out of the water pretty easily, right? Uh-oh. Come on. Get out. Get out. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. All right. There we go. And on to land. And then back into my boat. And then we got to destroy the building. Hop across, and thank goodness that actually worked. And then, let's see, can we get around the van? Oh yeah, look at the turning radius on this guy. Just barely clearing it, that is close. So the building I need to destroy is somewhere over to our left, I think, right? Let's see, let's see. Yeah, there it is. So we gotta do like a big loop around to really get that thing, that's what we're gonna do. And I wanna make it look like an accident, because I'm a real criminal now. Everything else that doesn't look like an accident at all. I don't know what I was thinking I forgot I was doing criminal work and not police work where I can just bust through and be like I'm the police I can do whatever I want So this is Real accident it was a fisherman with his amazing fishing boat and he accidentally plows into the house Completely destroying it Completely by accident of course So this is perfectly aligned here. We go. Oh, this is gonna work great. This boat is going to like take out the whole thing in just one swipe. Check this out. Oh my goodness, my frame rate is dying. This is too much destruction for one computer to handle. <laughs> my frame rate is complete trash right now, but this worked great. 
We're done. Oh, weird. It's counting my boat as being too tall because it's inside of the zone of the building, I guess. So you gotta drive my boat out of there and <laughs> look at the damage to my boat. The whole front just fell off. But we completely annihilated that building in just one single itty bitty mistake. There's nothing left to it. Well, I guess it's time to make my escape. And to get to my escape vehicle, we're gonna use a different boat because nobody will expect that. And we're bringing some of the house with me as well, I guess. I don't know why, but yeah. So we're gonna leave a trail of debris that shows everybody exactly the way I went. Maybe not the best plan. Oh, this is gonna be good. We're gonna smash this boat into my boat and then, oh, uh, yes. We have parked the boat and now we take my boat and make an escape. Just right through the other boat. He is in my way, but I don't care. So is it gonna show the route I take or is it only when it's like a timed level? It looks like it only does that for a timed level, but I think that's gonna do it for this video. Until next time, this has been YBR, and remember, if you like or dislike this video, I will know. I can tell by how much destruction the boats cause. So do the right thing, and I'll see you next time. Why am I on my roof? Well, I know how to get indoors. Oh wait, it's raining out, and there was a hole right in front of me. I bet I was supposed to repair the roof. Oh well.